Good morning, everyone. Got a new project for today. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, plastic surgery here. So I've seen this done a couple of times and uh, seems like a pretty economical way to uh, come up with a good, easy, no waste hay feeders on this IBC tote <clears throat> and uh, take out some of the corner supports right here, cut all the way across the bottom and uh, fold this thing up a little bit and see if we can make a no waste hay feeder for uh, some of our demanding clients over there. I do think it's important to point out about these tanks as well. I do feel they're probably one of the most versatile, um, cost effective solutions for a lot of projects in the farm. Um, all the ones that I use are what they call food grade, which means they had product in here that were meant for human consumption. And there's always a uh, sheet on the side of these things that tells you what was actually originally in these ones. And on this one, you can see it was organic agave syrup. Um, if you are purchasing these things, I highly recommend that you only get ones, especially if using them around the farm or to store water, uh, that only were used for food services. If it doesn't have a label on it, guys, I wouldn't buy it. Find another one. These things are pretty cheap. All right, quick update. We're about 15 seconds into the project, and you can see short work using the 60-volt uh, angle grinder just to knock off all those corners. I'm gonna do the same thing on the side over here and on the other side, and then knock out that bottom. And uh, then we'll take out the bladder and fold this thing up and uh, see what we end up with. Hercules is out here supervising. Okay, took the bolts out of the side that hold these uh, bars in place. You just kind of pop them up on each side like this, slide them forward. Then you can uh, tip the whole entire tote over. They don't weigh all that much, so it's not terribly difficult to do. And uh, you want to make sure you've got nothing sticking out. Sometimes the handles are open on these things. They will not, like this one right there, they will not come out if the handle is open. So, close up that ball valve. And reach down here. And... Oh, my bar fell down. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Sabotage. All right. And we'll just slide it right out of there. Piece of cake. All right. Back to the surgery. Next step we're gonna do guys is remove both ends of this bar all the way across the bottom of these things on the long side of the uh, cage. They're not perfectly square. One side is a little, little bit longer. Um, so you wanna make sure you're on the long side and uh, we're gonna knock it off on both sides and uh, carry on. All right, we got that side knocked out completely and it is, uh, you can see it's just hanging on right here just by the top corners right there. And on this side, I actually left them a little bit longer. I'm gonna see if I can uh, use those to help secure it when we push these things together. So uh, give me a second and we'll uh, get this thing bent up and see how it turns out. And when I meant bent these things up, I'm literally just reaching in here, guys, pushing this one forward a little bit. It's bending on the top tabs right here. They're just made out of aluminum. They're not terribly hard to bend. So I'm gonna go over, do the same thing on the other side real quick. And uh, this thing's gonna take shape. So I was talking about by leaving the one side long. So I just push this one over and you can see I ended up leaving this side long. I didn't cut off the uh, the bottom bars off of the section down here. I just knocked them off from the bottom and I actually just threaded them. I don't know if you can see a good shot right there. I actually just threaded them right inside this bar right here. We can slide those things up and uh, I'm going to come back and uh, bend these things over a little bit to hold them in place and clean up the edges so nothing's sharp but that's uh that's basically it guys. Okay, so I did decide to uh, knock off a little bit of length from the uh, arms that were sticking out here. I still left about uh, two inches right here, so they're overlapped. And I uh, came back through here, pulled it real tight, and put some zip ties in here. Um, before I pulled all of the tails off the zip ties, I kind of worked my way all the way around this thing, put these on here um, with the tails still on there. So after I started cinching it and getting it tighter, I can pull down on this one. Obviously, this one will loosen up a little bit as it gets tighter. So I can kind of just work my way around, pull these things real tight. Um, if that doesn't hold, there's any issues with that, which I don't think there will be. These are quarter inch UV rated outdoor zip ties. Um, but worst case is, again, since I left these tails a little long, I can always come in through right here, drill a hole, put a sheet metal screw across the bottom of these things to hold it in place. But I think it'll be fine. But other than that, I'm going to finish cleaning this thing up and uh, we'll get it over there. We've got some, uh, again, hungry customers over here waiting for breakfast. All right, I was able to uh, move the thing in there by myself. It is a little heavy, but, uh, you know, even still, if you balance it a little carefully, you could pick it up right over your head and move it in there. Your mileage may vary, though. Um, I did leave the... Uh, Metal shroud on the side right here just to help block some of the hay from dropping down uh, into the fence line. But uh, got a hay bale over here. I toss it in there and uh, see how it does. Let's see if this makes it a little easier for the ladies to eat in the morning. Well, 
it's almost in there. I'll cut the strings in it real quick and we'll pull it under the rest of the way, but you can see they're uh, giving, it, giving it a good uh, once over already. I could probably just leave it like that if I really wanted to. Poor Brownie's over here all by herself, hanging out with the lonely rooster. But uh, yeah, seems to work pretty well. Excited to see how it works long term. I may have to put a roof over the top of it, and if I do that, um, I'll have to probably end up moving away from the fence. I don't want anyone jumping from, from their little goat platform over there and then up over the fence over here with Hercules hanging out as much as he'd probably like to play with them. So we'll see how it goes. We'll leave it like this for now, and uh, hope you guys found this useful.